welcome back to the channel guys uh today's video is going to be uh you know a little bit different um so here i am on my property and i realized that my john deere z track 355e had a issue with the caster wheel yoke this one is in good condition that one is not um so yeah then we're gonna kind of show you and explain to you how to take that apart and hopefully put it back together and what parts to use all right uh don't mind the mess uh the mower is uh pretty dirty uh, there's the bumper hitch that i just uh put on that sucker at the end of last season that thing is a great great addition to the mower um although of all the zero turns that I've had, I think uh, I think this one uh, I'm the most unhappy with. Um, somebody told me, "Oh, get a John Deere Z track, man. They're you know pretty affordable and uh, really nice machines." Um, I've had X Mark, I've had Toros, uh, I've run Skags. Uh, you know what? I think I'm gonna be getting out of this one here uh, this season or next and I'm gonna start looking at something different maybe a Spartan but yeah we're gonna get into this because uh, I, I searched on uh, YouTube and I did not find a video I found a couple videos where there were guys that were putting bushings in but I'm guessing uh, there must be the different models because mine doesn't use two plastic bushings it actually uses ball bearings and then a little slide bushing uh inside but i'll show you that here in a minute bear with me now uh here guys so um i am shooting this one-handed uh but here is the caster yoke from this side the uh right side that i took off and one issue that I noticed is, I guess, while the thing, since the bearing on the bottom broke, uh, it kind of, and I, I guess I was running it for a while like that because it was uh, digging down into the yoke. Uh, so, I don't know. We're just going to put her back together and see how she works and uh worse come the worst maybe i'll have to buy a whole nother yoke and fork for this uh this side but so here's uh here's the parts that i had to purchase uh the actual john deere part number for this bearing which each side takes two a top and a bottom is am 127 304 I don't know if you can see that maybe if I pick it up out of the Sun am 127304 and like I said each side takes two so if you're doing one side you'll need two if you're doing both you're gonna need four now I didn't buy this bushing um, I was told I probably wouldn't need to buy a new bushing for it but I'm not sure um, I kind of wish I would have but yeah and then the last piece is obviously the cap and the bolt that screws right into the shaft of the yoke all right so we're gonna try to put this thing together get her in there uh, now I did have to beat the outside race of the broken bearing out of here because it was kind of stuck and jammed up in there um, obviously this is the 
correct way this should look. Uh, a little bit of a gap under there. You can kind of see the bottom bearing kind of laying on a raised area of the oak. That's the part that I think was grinded down on this one. I don't know. Let's uh, see what we can do here. Um, so, now if you look at this, there's a lip on the one side of this. When you're doing this, that lip is going to go toward the yoke on the bottom, right? So that's going to slide on like that. Then your bushing is going to go in there. And then whenever we get uh, the yoke up into here, we're going to put the lip side of this one on like so. See that? And then the cap and everything should squeeze it all down together. So, let's give it a shot. Oh, and by the way, don't try to loosen these with the mower on the ground. You got to get these front wheels up and off the ground. I watched a YouTube video with a fellow that was changing the uh, the plastic bushings on his and he was trying to free the wheels up and take that bolt out with it on the ground and probably for a half hour all right guys so yeah that wasn't the easiest thing to do but you can kind of see uh where we're at here so I'm going to try to keep this thing straight. I'm going to put the cap and the screw on it. And then I'm going to try to tighten her up. So I'm going to pause this real quick. Because I can't do that with one hand. Alright guys. So I got her on there. She looks like she's spinning decently free. I'm just going to kind of pull the yoke and that bottom bearing up using the bolt. All right, so I got it pretty tight. All right, success. Now, I don't know how long this is gonna last, but we got that new bearing on the bottom. Got it pulled nicely into place. Hopefully, uh, see, there was a lot of play. This thing was loose. It would go, it would rock up and down, up and down. Not supposed to do that. It's supposed to be solid, just like that. And it's supposed to spin very nicely, just like that. Now this one, no issues, at least yet. Uh, so far on the machine, you know, other than the normal uh, maintenance, you know, every 100 hours, oil change, uh, you know, air filter, fuel filter changes, stuff like that. That's the only uh, maintenance I've done on this so far up until this point. This is the first actual fix slash repair that I've done. So yeah, I hope that helps you guys out. Uh, like I said, I was looking for a video on YouTube to figure out how this went together. Um, I had to do a lot of research and find the parts catalog for these. Because when you search parts, if you put in Z... 355e nine times out of ten you get the 325 the 335 the 345 uh, but i've never found one that matched up with the z355 and i don't know why but there you have it i hope that helps somebody out hopefully uh you know that's a real easy fix you know you take us to the john deere dealership and boy they're gonna get you you know you're gonna spend probably upwards of a couple hundred bucks to get that thing fixed you can easily do it yourself all right guys well like i said i hope this helps somebody out smash that like button uh that thumbs up button if you know this thing helped you out or this is the kind of stuff you like to see uh i do apologize we haven't been able to do much uh filming of our builds and uh products but We'll get back to that here soon. Uh, 
been super short staffed and just all the craziness that's going on but yeah if you like this video you want to see more uh like it hit that thumbs up button uh don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon um so that you're updated whenever uh i upload something again until next time be safe out there